Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Van Amsen Coding Channel. Today, we are tackling a challenging problem from LeetCode titled Number of Increasing Path in a Grid. So, we will be using dynamic programming, and by the end of this video, you will be equipped to solve this and similar complex problems. So, let's get started. Uh, in this problem, we are given a matrix of m times n integer, and our task is to determine the number of strictly increasing path within the grid. So we can move from one cell to any other adjacent cell, and a path is strictly increasing if every uh, cell in path has a higher value than previous one. So the aim is to find such path uh, starting from any cell and ending to any cell as well. So now the catch is the total number of path could be really high. So uh, we need to return the value modulo 10 to the power of 9 plus 7. So uh, to solve this task, we will be using dynamic programming which is a brilliant method for solving problem with overlapping subproblems and optimal substructure. So uh, let me show you how we can clearly use this method uh, here. So uh, first we will uh, initialize a 2D list of uh, dynamic programming, so uh, DP, to keep track of the number of path ending at each cell, and then we will sort all cells in the uh, ascending order of their values and we will iterate over each cell and for its neighbors uh, if the neighbor's value is less than the current cell value we add the number of path ending at this neighbor to the number of path ending at the current uh, cell and by doing this for all cells we get the total number of increasing path so let's jump into a code and see how it works in practice. So here's what we do is modulo 10 to the power of 9 plus 7 and mn will be len of grid and len of grid at 0. So both coordinates and dp will be 0 times n for in range of m. So ij stored the number of path ending at cell ij. So then for x inserted v i j for i row in enumerate grid for j i enumerate row sort all cells. So dp will be x1 x2 and 1 initialize dp to 1 and for each neighbor of cell ej if the neighbor's value is less than grid ij add the number of path ending at the neighbor to dp ij so for the x dy in 0 1 0 minus 1 1 0 and also minus 1 0 so all possible coordinates and x and y, so will be new coordinates. And if boundary and x less than m, and same with and y, and grid and y less than zero, so it will be one, two plus dynamic of new coordinates. So one, two, modulo, modulo take modulo to prevent overflow. And finally, return sum of sum of rows for rows in dynamic programming modulo and sum up the number of O and return the result modulo, our modulo. So here is our implementation of uh, the code. So hopefully it will uh, work. So yep, let's run it and see if it's working. So we have results, so yeah. So for the first example, the output is correct and it's eight. So we have eight path that we can 
uh, traverse in increasing order and in case two only three so it's really simple grid with just one and two and it's strictly increasing why because the there are path with length of one so just one and two and also we have path with length of two so uh, going from one to two so total number of path is just two plus uh, one so yeah three <laughs> and uh, let's run it for unseen test cases so here are test cases that are probably more complicated but hopefully we will solve it so yeah our implementation beats 87 percent in runtime and yeah in memory and also 51 in uh, runtime so it's really uh, good and i hope uh, that now you know how to solve this task and use dynamic programming and remember practice is key when it comes to mastering uh, the task and uh, coding problem as well so i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did don't forget to smash that like button and uh, yeah subscribe to van Amsen coding channel for more coding solutions tips tutorials and as usual keep practicing happy coding we will see you next one.